all right hi guys hi everyone so you've already seen part one of pulp part one of pulp if you've not seen it first go watch part one of pulp because then you'll understand the basics what pulp is what cells are present in pulp what zones pulp is divided in all right so this is part two of pulp part two of pulp we will study nerve supply nerve supply may very important plexus of rashko the development of pulp and clinical considerations all right Let's start with the nerve supply of pulp first. All right. So nerve supply. Now pulp has two types of nerve supplies: a sensory nerve supply and motor nerve supply. Sensory nerve supply. What is it? Sensory nerve supply. Signal leke jati hai from the pulp to the brain. All right. And motor nerve supply is related with the blood vessels. We'll see it just in a minute. ठीक है तो सेंसरी नर्व सप्लाई में कौन सी नर्व्स हैं मैक्सिलरी नर्व एंड मैंडिबुलर नर्व मैक्सिलरी एंड मैंडिबुलर ब्रांचेस ऑफ द ट्राइजमाइनल नर्व इफ यू नॉट स्टडीड द अबाउट दीज नर्व्स इन एनाटॉमी येट यू विल स्टडी इट लेटर ऑन दीज आर मैक्सिलरी यू कैन टेल बाय द नेम मैक्सिला एंड मैंडिबुलर यू कैन टेल बाय द नेम मैंडिबुलर मैक्सिलरी एंड मैंडिबुलर ब्रांच ऑफ ट्राइजमाइनल नर्व दे कंप्राइज ऑफ द सेंसरी नर्व्स ऑफ द पल्प and sympathetic division of autonomic nervous system comprises of the motor nerve all right before further understanding let me you know explain this diagram to you all right so this is the tooth structure ye jo red outline you that you can see is the pulp outline and these yellow strands are the nerve fibers all right so the nerve fibers they enter the pulp Through the apical foramen, apical through the apical foramen, the nerves enter. They move through the radicular pulp, like this. They move through the radicular pulp, and they reach the coronal pulp. Very extensive branching of nerve nerves is seen in the coronal pulp. Less branching is seen in the radicular pulp, as you can see. All right. One very important. point about the nerve supply of pulp is that the nerves run alongside the blood vessels their path is always alongside the blood vessel all right now what happens is all right now if we see all right So now you know that there are two types of nerve fibers, myelinated and non-myelinated. Both types are seen in pulp, but unmyelinated are seen more in number as compared to myelinated. Now, now you saw the gross uh, pathway ki bhai they move through radicular pulp and coronal pulp tak jaate hain is tarike se. Uh, radicular pulp mein kam branching hai, coronal pulp mein zyada branching hai. Theek hai. Ab if we relate zone wise, if we see histologically. we know that the center most part is the pulp proper then we have the cell rich zone then we have the cell free zone and then we have the odontoblastic zone all right so nerves are most abundant matlab thick nerve fibers are seen in pulp proper then they move peripherally as well as coronally and they branch okay so when they will cross the cell rich zone they lose their myelin sheet all right now this is about the general which you should know about the nerves before studying sensory and motor in detail all right now sensory and motor sabse pehle they enter from apical foramen as i told you subjacent to the cell rich zone they leave sub now what they do is they cross the pulp proper they cross the cell rich zone and they reach the cell free zone in the cell free zone these nerve fibers form a plexus of nerves which is known as plexus of rashko we'll study about plexus of rashko in a bit okay above cell free zone they lose their myelin sheath but enclosed in schwann cell this is a very important point all right this is all about the sensory nerve supply now what does the motor nerve supply do so motor nerve supply is sympathetic division of autonomic nervous system about both these types of nerves you will learn about in anatomy all right now motor nerve supply what it does is it wraps around the arteries i already told you that the nerves move alongside the blood vessels 
okay they traverse the path of blood vessels so the motor nerve supply wrap around the arteries now we know that art this is suppose this is an artery the wall of artery here is composed of three layers tunica adventitia tunica media and tunica intima right so the nerve supply the motor nerve supply it uh, pierces the tunica adventitia and it terminates in tunica media media is the smooth muscle layer of blood vessel terminate kar jata hai tunica media mein and hence it controls the diameter of the vascular lumen blood vessels ke diameter ko control karte hain ab diameter ko control karenge iska kya matlab hai ki they will control the blood flow the volume and the pressure of blood which is entering in the pulp all right so this is gross about the nerve supply of pulp okay one very very important point is here it is so you uh, i don't i don't know if you've already studied anatomy or not but nerves in our body in a body head to toe different nerve fibers have different nerve endings all right rufinis corpuscles or you know golgi tendon there are different types of uh, nerve endings but in pulp only free nerve endings are seen let me zoom it for you only free nerve endings are seen in pulp and we should all and you remember this for all your life the free nerve endings are related for related to pain reception iska matlab kya hai this means that koi bhi stimulus koi bhi stimulus heat cold pressure temperature touch you know mechanical chemical koi bhi uh, stimulus if your teeth are being exposed to any such of stimulus your teeth will only perceive it as pain you will only feel pain you will not feel anything else all right okay now for theory answer point of view is if you get a question on the nerve supply of pulp you mention all this alongside this you mention the pain transmission theory okay okay majority of nerves entering the pulp are non myelinated this you have already said all right this was about the nerve supply of pulp now let's study about the plexus of rashko plexus of rashko we just studied that sensory nerves enter the apical foramen and move to the pulp proper cross the cell rich zone enter the cell free zone and form a plexus network of nerve which is known as plexus of rashko okay nerve plexus in cell free zone okay so the plexus of rashko contains two types of nerve fibers first large myelinated a delta fibers dusra small non myelinated c fibers large myelinated a fibers fibers are related to fast pain fast pain sharp pain jo hota hai and the c fibers are related to dull pain dull pain is slow pain again non myelinated nerve fibers are more abundant all right so this was about the nerve supply of pulp now let's study the development of pulp pulp develop kaise hota hai all right to study the development of pulp you first you know just re replenish uh, your knowledge of tooth development once again so this diagram which you can see here i'm very very sorry okay so this diagram that you can see this is of early bell stage okay this is the outer enamel epithelium the inner enamel epithelium in ke beech mein you have the stellate reticulum then you have the stratum intermedium all right so this area this which is enclosed by room to glass is a dental papilla dental papilla is responsible for the dental papilla aage chal ke forms pulp this is a very important point this is the actual the base of development of pulp is that pulp comes from dental papilla okay so what is the procedure what happens is that the inner enamel there is inner enamel epithelium there is outer enamel epithelium the inner enamel epithelium after formation it you know signals the dental papilla cells to differentiate into odontoblasts you know this the inner enamel epithelium 
dental papilla sends signaling molecules and growth factors to dental papilla cells some cells of dental papilla they differentiate into odontoblasts then odontoblasts start secreting a thin layer of dentin only after a thin layer of dentin is formed is that we can term dental papilla as pulp did you get the point it is ki dent thin layer of dentin banne ke baad hi aap dental papilla ko pulp keh sakte ho usse pehle nahi keh sakte okay all right so initially called as dental papilla yes and dental papilla otherwise is responsible for pulp as well as dentin dentin also comes from the cells of dental papilla termed as pulp only after formation of thin dentin layer enamel organ encloses dental papilla centrally yes you can obviously see this this is enamel organ i'm sorry i am uh, spoiling it but yeah this is enamel organ and this central area is known as this central zone this is dental papilla all right when is when does the development of dental papilla begins development of dental papilla begins at eighth week of embryonic development all right so this is about the, de the development of pulp <coughs> all right so uh, here we'll add something about the primary and permanent teeth in the primary teeth the pulp chamber or the pulp canal is broader and larger as compared to permanent teeth why because as we grow and as the primary teeth uh, are lost and permanent teeth come there is successive deposition of dentin secondary dentin is continuously deposited that is why the pulp chamber reduces in size as we grow all right so initially initially in primary teeth the pulp chamber is big it is more vascularized more innervated all right cell proliferation takes place in dental papilla all right yeah so this is about the development of pulp this is how pulp develops not much is given in organs about this all that i've told you is enough for the development of pulp all right the last topic for this part is clinical considerations all right pulp is very very important clinically everything is pulp because the nerve supply is present in pulp i'm very sorry all right so clinical considerations all right pulp is a very prone to infections or inflammation why because it is richly vascular all right so any inflammation koi bhi disease koi bhi bacteria ki wajah se aap agar aapke pulp mein inflammation ho gayi hai so that is known as pulpitis inflammation of pulp inflammation of pulp is pulpitis all right koi bhi trauma koi bhi bacterial infection koi dental caries or physical trauma anything can lead to pulpitis okay sometimes what next is pulp polyp pulp polyp kya hota hai all right so uh, pulp polyp is internal resorption ki wajah se koi bhi agar carious tooth hai carious tooth means dental caries dental caries means bacterial infection agar hai to uski wajah se pulp chamber exposed ho jata hai exposed pulp chamber okay i can make you understand by drawing a tooth structure all right so you can see that this pulp chamber is exposed ye jo pulp chamber hai ye yahan se expose hai outer environment this is known as pulp polyp कोई भी अगर आपका केरियस टूथ है केरीज हो गया है आपके दांत में तो ये पल्प चेंबर एक्सपोज जाता है इनमल और डेंटिन रिजॉर्ब हो गए हैं सो पल्प चेंबर इज एक्सपोज इज नोन एज पल्प पॉल और व्हाट इज अ पिंक टूथ समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस इज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ पिंक पिंक रिफ्लेक्शन इज सीन व्हेन यू होल्ड अ टूथ व्हेन यू सी समवन्स टूथ इफ यू सी अ पिंक रिफ्लेक्शन दैट दैट मींस दैट दैट टूथ इज अ पिंक टूथ means internal resorption of dentin and enamel over okay? that is why the pink of the pulp is visible is reflecting all right now <clears throat> now pulp chamber and its extensions this is a heading in orbins i'll just brief you out what is written here iske andar ye likha hua hai ki in young people the pulp chamber is bigger in size 
और एक वाइड पल्प चेम्बर प्रेजेंट होता है सो इन प्राइमरी टीथ द पल्प हॉर्न्स दीज आर नोन एज पल्प हॉर्न्स आई थिंक यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ये जो कस्प टिप के साथ लॉन्ग चलते हैं दीज आर नोन एज पल्प हॉर्न्स सो इन द प्राइमरी टीथ वाइड पल्प चेम्बर्स आर प्रेजेंट पल्प हॉर्न्स आर वेरी नियर टू द कस्प टिप व्हाई बिकॉज़ इनफ डिपोजिशन ऑफ डेंटिन नहीं हुआ होता प्राइमरी टीथ में तो व्हाट हैपेंस इज डीप कैविटी फॉर्मेशन deep deep cavity preparation is very difficult in primary teeth why because pulp chamber is wide deep cavity preparation aap nahi kar sakte you will uh, injure pulp all right whereas in permanent teeth it's different pulp chamber is highly reduced in size all right all right another very important thing about pulp is that any infection all right i'll show you okay okay so one last very important thing about pulp is ki any infection all right you everyone knows this here we have the apical foramen so any infection which is in pulp can spread to the surrounding here we have the periodontal ligament fibers no so any infection from the pulp can spread to the periodontal ligament through apical foramen this is very important i told you in the previous part also all right so apart from this the, uh, oh, in theory point of view say if we see everything is important pulp is an important chapter and flexor fascio is very important and uh, we'll study about the functions and age changes in the next part so stay tuned see you there all right if you have any questions if you want me to add anything if you want me to change my way please comment please tell me all right thank you